Hello everyone, my name is Ty Winek and I am a student here at Antioch Community High School and this is going to be my third ever weekly weather forecast and it will be from September 10th, 2022 through September 16th, 2022. So let's jump right into the details. So what to watch for this week? We will have rain, lots of rain that will occur this weekend. Highs will be in the 70s and 80s and lows in the 60s. We will also have additional showers that will occur throughout the school week with grand total rainfall from Saturday to Sunday to Monday into Tuesday up to two inches. I'll get, a, I'll get more into that in a little bit. We'll have some flash flooding that will also be possible. And we'll have partly cloudy skies that will occur throughout the rest of the school week, which will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we'll have partly cloudy skies and warming temperatures, a gradual warming trend, above average temperatures for September. Again, I'll get to that in a minute. Highs throughout the school week will range from the low 70s to mid 80s and lows in the middle 50s to mid 60s. This is the real-time weather radar taken on September 8th, 2022. As you can see, just like last week, you have some clear skies, nothing really on the radar. But by the time you are seeing this video, this radar is probably going to be full of widespread rain from Milwaukee to Chicago to Indianapolis, down to Springfield, up towards Madison, over to Muskegon and Grand Rapids. This radar is probably going to be full of complexes of thunderstorms and widespread rain. So this radar image is going to change. So don't be fooled by this radar screen. But for right now, as I am recording this video, we have clear skies and nothing really on the base reflectivity. This is the U.S. surface analysis on September 8th, 2022. As you can see, we have these L's up here in South Dakota, North Dakota, and Montana, and that cold front. High pressure is going to be moving southeast away from us. And remember, like I said, low pressure is where there's big storms, as you can see, rain and thunderstorms over here, and high pressure clearing skies. That high pressure is going to move towards Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, West Virginia, and Virginia. That's all going to be pushing southeast. And this low pressure system is also going to be pushing southeast. And it's going to be in the Great Lakes states in a couple of days. And again, it's going to bring widespread rain, maybe some thunderstorms, and I'll get to that in a minute. So make sure to keep an eye on this low pressure system, actually a double low pressure system. Again, right now it's in from central Montana to, I'd say, north central South Dakota, and it's going to be pushing southeast towards Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Illinois, and Indiana. So make sure you stay prepared for this upcoming low pressure system and widespread rain. Speaking of widespread rain, I'm going to go into the two day weekend forecast. Saturday, rain, all day rain, high of 86, low of 66, 80% 80 rain chance with a medium impact. Sunday, rain, high of 76, low of 63, 100% rain chance. I am guaranteeing widespread rain on Sunday and almost for Saturday with a medium impact. So we'll have rain that will occur this weekend with rainfall totals up to one and a half inches, grand total over the weekend with flash flooding possible due to the heavy amounts of rain. Probably hydroplaning, water on roads, uh, water and rain affecting rivers, and then just that kind of stuff. And just medium impacts overall. You guys are probably, you guys are not, you guys are not going to see the sun on Saturday and Sunday. I mean, I'm forecasting that widespread rain. It's going to be raining 24-7 both of these days. You are not going to see the sun this weekend. I know that's a crazy prediction by a weather meteorologist, but that is my prediction. You will not see the sun this weekend. You're just going to see rain and some colder temperatures. So as we go into the school week forecast, Monday, Again, more rain. You are probably not going to see, the, you guys are probably not going to see the sun Monday either, unfortunately. High of 71, low of 58, 60% rain chance with a medium impact. Tuesday, partly cloudy, high of 75, low of 58. We might have some lingering rain showers in the morning and a morning 30% rain chance, but a low impact. 
Wednesday, partly cloudy, high of 80, low of 62 with a low impact. And here begins a slight warming trend where we go above average temperatures, we climb back into the 80s yet again for another school week. Thursday, partly cloudy, high 82, low of 66 with a low impact. Friday, partly cloudy, high 83, low of 65 with a low impact. So we'll have rain that will continue to occur on Monday and possibly Tuesday with rainfall totals up to two inches and we could have additional flash flooding that will be possible on these days which will lead to an overall medium impact. We'll also have partly cloudy skies that will occur throughout the rest of the school week, which will be low impacts because we don't have any rain or precipitation in the area. Maybe an isolated shower on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, but it's looking mainly dry for those three days. Again, going back to Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna see widespread rain and also Monday. So on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you guys are probably not gonna see the sun. You're only gonna see just rain, unfortunately, with some flooding and flash flooding possible. So that is going to be it for my third ever weekly weather forecast. I'm Tyler from Antioch Community High School. Stay safe, and I will see you guys next week. Stay safe from that rain.